Nobody wants to die, but if we're all gonna die anyway, might as well do it in style. Check out these really weird and unique tombs. First up is the Inez Clark Monument in Chicago's Graceland Cemetery. Picture this, a glass encased statue of a young girl with a parasol rumored to be haunted. Legends say she wanders the cemetery during storms and sometimes she's missing from her case only to return by morning. But the twist? There's confusion over who's actually buried there. Is it Inez Clark or is it a boy named Amos Briggs? Well, that's spooky. Then there's Elizabeth Demidoff. She's an heiress with a chilling challenge from beyond the grave. After her death in Paris in 1818, her will reveals an eerie request, a fortune in francs to anyone brave enough to spend a year and a day next to her coffin in the Père Lachaise Cemetery. I don't even know if that's how you say it. Despite many attempts to claim this prize, no one has ever succeeded. Then there's the story story of Florence Irene Ford in Mississippi. This one's a little touching and a little unique. After Florence passed away at the age of 10 due to yellow fever, her mother requested a special tomb to comfort her during storms. Florence was always afraid of storms when she was a young girl. And this tomb includes a glass panel and a stairway leading to her coffin, allowing her mother to be close during storms. A grave in a parking lot? Yup. Mary Ellis was a woman who spent her life waiting for her sea captain love to return, only to be buried on her own farmland in New Brunswick in the 1790s. Now fast forward to the 1960s, urban development encroaches, transforming her final resting place into a parking lot. Yet amidst the hustle and bustle of New Jersey, Mary's grave stands undisturbed, a lasting monument to love and patience. Now we'll head over to Paris, stumble upon Père Lachaise, a massive cemetery filled with the graves of famous artists and thinkers. Among these, there's this one grave, Fernand Arbelotz, and this one really stands out. Picture this, a monument showing Arbelot eternally looking into his wife's eyes, or, well, her sculpted head, to be exact. Now get this, William Jeffries, a young senator from North Carolina, gets really sick. He developed a huge fear of being buried and eaten by worms. So what does he do? He decides he wants to be buried in a rock instead. Sounds crazy, right? But as he gets sicker, his dad actually agrees to it. It took a stonemason over a year to carve out this rock tomb, and even then, there was a mishap with the marble slab men for the tomb. Then there's Charles Pigeon. He was the inventor of a non-exploding gas lamp, so he decided to celebrate with a unique tomb. His gravestone is shaped like a double bed, featuring him and his wife in bed. Above them, an angel holds one of his lamps, which symbolizes his achievement. I guess nobody wants to be buried alive, right? Check this one out. Timothy Clark Smith, a 19th century doctor, feared being buried alive so much that he had a viewing window installed in his coffin connected to the surface by a cement tube. He also had a bell and tools to signal for help if he woke up. 